In this video, I will show you how you can create an amazing contact form 7 auto response email for your WordPress website. First I will be showing you how autoresponder email will work using this contact form. By the way if you want to create exact same form from scratch, then watch the end screen video. Whenever anyone will contact you using the contact form on your WordPress website, then the user will get an auto reply email from your side. Let me give you a live demo. Now here you can see, our message has been sent. Let's check our email inbox if we have received an auto response email or not. Here you can see, we have received this auto response email. In this auto response email template, you will get a logo on the top. And then a short confirmation message for the user from your side. Here if you can see, the email receiver will be referred with his name automatically, it will not only look like a human response but also produce some sense of trust for you. With the help of this autoresponder, you will not only assure the message sender that you have received the message successfully but you can also do email marketing along with that. Now here you will get a visually striking image. Here is the opening sentence for email marketing. This is the focal point of your email. Here is a short description of your offer. This is the sentence for creating a sense of urgency. Here is the promo code so that your potential customer will realize that he is special. This is a call to action button. Now here is the short step-by-step -step guide. Here is the social media logo with the hyperlink. This is your business address. Here you can link your website. Here is the privacy policy and terms of use. Now, let's proceed towards the auto-response email template customization. But before we do anything, let's first download the email template file for our contact form 7 autoresponder. To do so, just download the template from either of the two options. The first option, just type the URL shown here, and the second option, just scan this barcode from your smartphone. Let's go with the first method, just go to your browser tab, and type downloading URL in the address bar. Now here, you need to download these two files. Just click on the file to download. By the way, you can also copy this code from here, in case you are unable to download it. Our file is successfully downloaded, go to the file download destination folder. Right click on the images raw file to extract inside the folder. Now here inside the images folder, you will get all the images used in this autoresponder template. Here is the HTML template file, right click and open with any text editor. Press Ctrl A to select the entire code. Copy the contact form 7 autoresponder email code from the template file. Then go to the codepen.io slash pen to edit the auto response code for your contact form. Now here, we need only HTML editor, hence accept HTML minimize CSS and JavaScript editor. If your editor's layout is different from this layout, then change the layout from here. Now, click on the HTML editor field, and then paste the copied auto response code. Now drag from here to increase the HTML editor area. Let's scroll to the top to start editing our code for contact form 7 autoresponder. Here on the top, you will get the code for the document type, make sure to don't change anything in this code. Down here, you will get a comment for instruction purposes. I have made comments on several places so that you can easily understand that where and what you have to change. The head section of this template will start here and end here. Make sure to don't change anything inside the head section. Now here the body section is started. Whatever you need to change, you will find all the code inside the body section. Now, here is the comment for information about this logo. My recommendation for logo size is 900 pixels wide and 250 pixels in height, and the format should be in transparent PNG. By the way you can leave the comment after editing, or even you can remove these comments entirely. I would highly recommend you that don't remove these comments from your code, so that whenever you want to change anything inside this code, 
then you can easily locate the change position, and second thing is that these comments will not affect your template layout and performance in any manner. Now here is the code for this logo. To change the logo, first go to your WordPress dashboard, then the media section. Now here drag and drop all the images to upload inside the media library. I have already uploaded all the required images. I have inserted logo from somewhere else, let's add the same logo from my media library. To insert any image from your media library, click on the image thumbnail and then click on the copy URL to clipboard button. Now, go to the code pen editor, and then select and delete the default logo link in between the quotation mark. Here you can see our logo is disappeared, only alt text is appearing here. To insert the same logo from your media library, click in between these quotation marks, and then paste the copied logo link from your media library. Here you can see, our logo has appeared again. But this time this logo is displayed from our media library. Here is the CSS code for the logo appearance. You can change any property such as logo width. Now scroll down. Here is the code for changing these texts. Let's change the top line. Here you can see, the upper line text is changed. Here if you can see, I have added the contact form 7 name tag. This tag will display the message sender's name exactly here. But this tag is not rendering sender name because we are not using the contact form 7 field to edit our code. Let me change the second line. You can see, our second line of text has changed. Now, let's see how you can stylize these text. By the way, if you want to stylize any element, then you will get the style CSS inside the opening tag of the same element like this. Now here this style CSS is inside the paragraph opening tag, and both lines of text are wrapped with the same paragraph tags, so these CSS properties will affect the appearance of both lines of text together. Now, this style CSS will only affect the appearance of the upper line because these CSS properties are inside the opening tag of the upper line. Here are the CSS properties for the background and text layout. In fact, let me show you how you can change the size and the line height of the upper text line. Here you can see our upper text line become bigger in size. Let me increase line height. Now, let's increase the size of this line of text. Here you can see, text size of the second line is increased. Now, here is the code for this shopping bag. To change this bag image, just copy the image link from the WordPress media library and then replace this link with the copied link. Here is the alt tag for the image. And this is the CSS property of the image. Here this piece of code is for this line of text. Let me change the content for this line of text. Here is the CSS property for the same line. Now, here is the CSS code for this line. Let me change the percent discount from 25% to 5%. Here you can see, discount percentage is changed. Let's change the color of this line. Here you can see, line color is changed to red. Here this block of code is for this line of text. Let's change the text content. Now here you can see, text content is completely changed. Let's change the text color. Here you can see our text color is changed to red. This piece of code is for this line of text. This property is for background color. And here is the CSS style property for the same line. Here is HTML code for this line. Here is another HTML code for the coupon code. Let's change the coupon code. Here you can see, our coupon code is changed. This is the CSS styling code for this text. This piece of code is for this button. Let's change the button name. 
Replace this Google URL with your website sales page. Here this code is written for this line. Here is the code for displaying this correct tick mark. To change this image, first delete this link, and then paste the copied link of your media library image. Here is the code for this text. This is the code for the second tick mark. To change the second image, just replace this link with the same first tick mark image link. Here, this piece of code is for this text. This is the code for the third tick mark. To change the third image, just replace this link with the same first tick mark image link. Here is the code for this text. This is the code for this Facebook logo with a hyperlink. Here is the source logo link, and this is the hyperlink. To change the hyperlink, just paste your page link over here. Here is the code for the Twitter logo with a hyperlink. This is the Twitter account address hyperlink, and this is the logo source link. Here is the code for this Instagram logo with a hyperlink. This is the Instagram account address hyperlink, and this is the logo source link. This is the code for this YouTube logo with a hyperlink. This is the YouTube channel address hyperlink, and this is the logo source link. Here is the code for this address line. This code is for your website address link. Replace this address with your website address. This code is for your website's privacy policy page. Replace this address with your website privacy policy page. This code is for your website's terms of use page. Replace this address with your website's terms of use page. We have successfully completed our HTML template customization for contact form 7 auto response email. In the next step, we need to add this code inside the contact form 7 auto response field. But before this, here is a small request from you. If you like this video, hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon to get new video updates. Now, head over to the WordPress dashboard, and then click on the contact form option. Now here, click on the edit link. Now, click on the mail tab, and scroll down to the bottom. Here you will get a checkbox with the name of use mail too. To set up the autoresponder, Enable this checkbox. By default, you get these code snippets which are pretty much OK. We only need to paste our copied code inside the message body field. But before that, let me explain these fields one by one. This is the short code for the message sender's email. This is the short code for your website title, and this email should be the same email in which you have set up the SMTP server. By the way, you can set up Gmail SMTP easily after watching the above video card. In the subject field, you will get the site title shortcode and the message sender's subject shortcode. In the additional header field, you will get a shortcode for the site admin email. You can add any email here. The email receiver will get an option to reply to this email. Here in the message body field, select and delete all the default code. Now. Paste the copied code from the CodePen editor. Here at the bottom, make sure to turn on this checkbox, otherwise your email template will not work. Here, if you want, you can attach any file as an attachment. Watch the above card to know the best method of file attachment in the contact form 7. In the end, just save it. Congratulations, you have successfully created the autoresponder mail for contact form 7. If you like this video, hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon to get new video updates, and make sure to check out end screen video playlist of contact form tutorials. What will be the topic of our next video, let me know in the comment down below. Thank you so much for watching, I will see you next time.